Hey guys, welcome back to the Quick Speed Drop. I'm Josh, and today we're gonna do some vintage, ooh, it's windy already. We're gonna do some vintage uh, Willie's pickup action. My buddy uh, Eric watches this, he'll appreciate it. So, off camera a little while ago, I cut down this, or I had cut down this huge maple tree in the back here that had fallen on my pole barn and dented my roof trim, and luckily there was ice on the roof. It didn't get the roof, but this thing is massive. Check this out. It was about 50 feet tall, and this is a little bit thinner, but look how wide it was and it branched off. It's like a soft maple, I guess. This is my handiwork trying to cut through it with a saw that wasn't big enough, but I got it all cut up here, and what I need to do is see all the brush, I gotta take that to the dump, and then I got another load of brush over here, I gotta take to the dump. So all this wood's in the way. So what I wanna do is for 40 years, I helped my dad cut firewood, well not 40 years, for 25 years I helped my dad cut firewood and we used a uh, 1959 Willys pickup. Are you looking into the sun? Probably. We used a 1959 Willys pickup. They had a flatbed on it. It was completely rotted out. My dad passed away a few years ago. I brought it up here. I did an amateur restoration. There's a really early video on the channel of 1959 Willys restoration or something like that. And I just talk over the pictures, but let's take a look at it. We're going to fire it up and we're going to load all this wood on the back. So I can move it around just like back in the day. So here we go. I stored it under the overhang of the backyard gas station. If you haven't seen this on the channel, I built a era correct 1940s gas station ish. It's got the overhang. I'm going to be doing the concrete work this spring, pouring this in a pad, and then I can mount my pumps and stuff here under the overhang. Oh, well, hold on. So here's the Jeep. It's a 1959 Willys uh, flatbed truck now. And the nice part is, I found under the original paint, this is the original logo from Stalders in Owego, New York. Uh, it was the, the corner, I was on Route 30, 96 and 38 or whatever, going out of town towards Cortland. And Candor that, that way, that's where the, I think the Atlantic service station was. And later this guy had the Oldsmobile dealership in uh, Owego, if you remember that. But I think he bought this Jeep brand new. And I'm pretty sure it had a plow on it and it would have had a pickup box on it, but it was used at the uh, Stalders Atlantic Service as a service truck. And then it ended up in my family. My dad bought it in the mid 70s, and then I just, I've had it for uh, six or seven years here now. But I kind of amateurly restored it. You can see here in the bodywork, it was rotted off up to here all the way around. This door didn't open, I fixed that. And uh, none of the floor was in it. I put these seats in it. This is a rear seat out of a Jeep Grand Cherokee. None of this was in it. It was missing all the way up to here. I made all this out of like 16 gauge sheet metal and uh, amateurly stuck it back together. So, first thing we're gonna do is, this is my fuel tank. It's pretty small, but I don't drive this thing hardly ever. ever so it's uh, gonna get some gas in it. I gotta get rid of these tires and then we're gonna fire it up and pull on over and load it up with firewood. Originally this had a fuel tank under the back and then it rotted out years ago and my dad had a fuel tank on the front bumper of all places. I got rid of that and I got this tank. I can't remember what it's out of, some kind of small piece of equipment, but it holds a couple of gallons and that's all we need to have fun today. So it keeps me from storing a bunch of gas and then having a thing sit around and have the gas go bad forever. So a small little tank for small little tasks. Probably good enough for now. I had to siphon gas out of cars to go because my winter supply of fuel is drained down. And uh, I've neglected to fill up the cans recently, so we're stealing some, stole some odd things. So let's go inside and see if things gonna fire up. Got my bleeping Jeep keychain and a key. Hopefully, the battery has got some juice in it. Oh yeah. Oh, she fired. Man, thing has been sitting since like November. There we go. Now this thing is super worn out. It's got a, it might have a rod knock. It misses a lot, it smokes. It's showing 54,000 on the odometer. That was broke for years and years and years, but I actually hooked the odometer cable back up 
so it does work to speedometer, but this thing is, well, you know, 59 to 99 is 40. 50, this thing's 50, almost 60 years old, and it's tired. This thing's hauled a lot of, a lot of uh, wood in the woods, and I learned how to drive on this when I was 13, so I've been riding this thing for a long time. I used to, I got a picture from like 1980 when I'm a little kid in here driving with it, so. All right, the alternator's charging. This has been switched to uh, an alternator from a generator. Let me f remember how I remember, right? First gear, here we go. Oh yeah, no problem. Perfect. We're gonna back this thing right up somewhere and we're gonna load the wood on it, but I gotta figure out reverses up into here, right? Yep, there we go. She's in a low range right now. Whoa. The ground is soft. Can't see nothing. Here's the trailer. Don't hit the dark. Don't hit the trailer. Here we go. it up and smoke it. Can't see As you can see, she's super tired. We used to run it for years and no exhaust system. I put a glass pack on it just because it was really obnoxious for the neighbors here, but back where it used to run in the in the hills, nobody cared. I'm just gonna, oh, I got, actually, check these out. Ultra wide F7014 Astra. My buddy Ted gave me these. They came off some old wheels off a car he had and they're junk, but they're neat. And we also got the Sport 60. Here. I like these old 70s tires, but they shot. So let me uh, unload the back of the truck and then we'll uh, start putting some wood on her. idea here that's just a little bit I'm gonna stack it right up to the roof because we used to go right to the roof against that back window guard and slope it down <clears throat> I'm putting stuff that doesn't need to be split on the truck right now I've got a ton of big wood down here on the ground I need to get a split them all and split it here but I want to get all the little stuff on the truck out of the way I've got to get back in here um, to get my trailer back in here to get the brush so that's what I'm just doing now is trying to get the small stuff loaded up and mount her up. I'm going to throw a bunch of the small, real small stuff in the center, get a good load on here. And I can park this back under the overhang. Well, holy moly, that's a load. See, she squatted. This is why I had to stack the wood on the inside because the tires come up through the floor here. And these tires are severely dry rotted. They're retreads from the late 80s. Uh, they were new in the late 80s from 
I remember when he put them on and they are severely, severely weather checked. I probably should have checked the air before I put this weight in them, but they, I think they're on, they're, I think there's tubes in here, but these things are, the sidewall is all rotted. These, this is a unit roll, the other side something else, but retreads on the back, retreads on the front all the way around, but she squatted right down. Not quite, uh, this is, uh, what do I call it, soft maple, so it's not as heavy as this thing's ever hauled but squatted down pretty good. Usually we'd be running through the woods, through the mud and on the logging trails, but luckily I've just got a nice soft thing for it here. So let me go in and fire it up and pull on out. I'm just gonna store this stuff, this wood on the back of the Jeep for uh, like a couple of days till I figure out where I wanna put it. I gotta get a split mall and split all the big pieces, but this is just the small stuff I wanted to get out of the way. So uh, let's climb in and fire her on up and move it on back under the overhang. There we go. That's enough. Under the hood here, we got the Super Hurricane 6. I had to put a water pump on it, but it's uh, untold miles. It says Willie's uh, down there from Toledo, Ohio on the side of the block. We got a little bit of over, over uh, what do you call it? Breather there, blow by. But when I uh, amateurly restored this, I did change the fenders. The original ones were all smashed and they were all rotted out in the front. I got these out of the junkyard. You can see there's pinholes in them, but I, this is the original inners. I just welded the outers on them. You can see this one is all pitted. It was full of leaves and debris. But there's my name I scratched in the hood when I was a kid. And my, my uncle did it upside down years ago. But I uh, just amateurly restored this just to try to keep it from rotting away. I put new glass windshield in it, or not the windshield, the rubber, and uh, brush painted it red with some old red enamel. You can see on the roof, a tree fell on it a long time ago. And the back window has been broken out since about 1980 or so. And uh, all original on the inside. This window is missing in this door, and for years the latch didn't work. I was able to make a pin for it, but for years it didn't it didn't latch. But this thing was rotted off about the height of that door. So as you can see, she squatted pretty good. I'll just leave this on here for a day or two and then I'll get it off or I might block up the back with a jack just so it's not squatting on it for so long. But these trucks I think are rated for like three-quarter ton. I think the load is maybe, I'm not sure from back in the day, but she is definitely, uh, definitely squatted there a little bit with that load. So it was just a fun little video with the Jeep there. I thought you guys enjoy seeing that run around, a little bit of history. Like I said, it's been in my family, I think since about 1975. So that's coming up on what, 50 years almost. I've had it here for, since 2016. If you wanna go back in the channel in the Jeep, uh, the wheeling and Jeep playlist, you can scroll back and see what I did to like amateurly rest restore that. It was really, really rotten. The only floor that was left in it at all was just the transmission tunnel. And I'll link the video at the end of the end of the video here. You can click on the link and see it. 
but that thing was completely junk and I made it presentable for just, it's not on the road, I just use it around the yard. But I'm glad I was able to use it like my dad did. Some memories there, so I've been cleaning up this maple tree and I'll get a split mall, I'll split all this wood and then I'll make an area and I'll stack it all up and unload the Jeep and, and uh, use it for something else this spring. But it's getting a little chilly, the sun's going down. I'm gonna grab it, gather my tools and head inside and have some dinner because I'm starving from loading that load of firewood. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time doing really cool stuff like old Jeeps full of firewood. Bam, here at the Quick Speed Shop.